Welcome back guys. Today, ice fishing, obviously, it's that time of year. And we've got the new Otter Monster Lodge. Just picked her up. It is a beauty, it is so big. So nice, worth every penny. But even better yet, we are gonna be sight fishing today. Just about set up and we're chasing stock trout, rookies specifically, so let's get fishing. So today I have a co-host guys. I have my son. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. You ready to catch a big fish, bud? Yeah. How big? Show me how big. Um. There we go. A nice big fish. Yeah. And we're sight fishing for brookies. Yeah. Anyway, let's continue getting With rigged up. With the new up. tent. With the new tent. Connor's right. It's so big. Like, look at this. Yeah. Just enormous. It's two times the size of our other tent. <laughs> yep, that is. It's awesome. Doing good, buddy. Keep twitching it. Oh, he's just being feisty. He's being picky, eh? Good job. Keep twitching. Oh, we like that. Lift it up. Oh, look at that, Connor. Oh, he might not come back. Okay, keep it down nice and low. Oh, nice try, buddy. Yeah, that was so close. That was so close. I'm going to keep fishing. You keep fishing. Oh, he missed it. That's right, good book. Good job. Keep twitching. There you go. Keep hopping it. A big one, that's a nice one. Yeah. So, what we're using for stock trout right now is my son was using this to start with, it's a tungsten jig, and this is a dragon fly nymph pattern from Frostbite. They seem to play around with it for the first little bit, but weren't too interested in eating it. So, I'm going to swap it out and put on a green. Dragon Slayer Mini. Let's see if that gets hooked up. Can you keep wiggling it? There you go, she little wiggles. There we go, let it lift it up. There you go. Oh. Yay, Connor got one. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Excellent. How was that? Good. That was awesome. Good job. Connor's first fish in the new tent. Okay. Ooh. Are you pretty happy? Yeah. Okay. Set her back in the water. Nice and gentle. Good boy. Okay. You can let go whenever. There he goes. Oh. Yeah. Fist bump. Boom. I actually thought I would catch the first fish that time. <laughs> that, yeah, when we started, that fish really wanted to melt me. Yeah, that's right. He wanted your hook. There we go. Yeah. First fish. Like yeah. Our first nice little brookie. Yep. Right through there. But it was easy to catch. Was it easy to catch, bud? It was super fast. Oh, you get a weird draw. Yeah. Okay. Yes, so. Watch it go down. Here we go. Let's it. Let it go. That was fast. That was super fast. Yeah, fish are fast. Well, we're packed up now. Pretty much lost all our daylight for the sight fishing. As you can tell behind me, it's starting to snow pretty good. Couldn't see much anymore. Saw a few fish, caught a couple fish. But one thing I definitely wanted to go over with you guys is this. If you cut a sight hole, make sure you mark it. I always try to do them further away from where I know lots of people fish too. Like on this little lake, lots of people fish, like most lakes, close to where you walk onto the ice. So it's not really a good idea to cut a big hole anywhere near there because someone could walk and fall into it if it's not marked properly. So what I always do is <clears throat> I mark the corners 
and then I put a bunch of sticks over the hole. So hopefully there's no mistake of what's there. We're, we don't really need that. If you get one of those really light cold nights where it just freezes like a tiny bit and like it's snowing now. So it could freeze a little bit of snow. You would never know what's even there until you stepped on it. Like at least it's only, I think it's about four feet deep here, but it could definitely be bad. So always mark your sight hole, always. Well, now that we got them hole marked out, it's time to start to walk back to the truck. As always guys, it's been fun sharing this adventure with you. It was even better today that I had my co-host. My son Connor came out. He even caught some fish too, so that's always fun. Um, if you like this video, please uh, drop a like and leave a comment. So maybe we'll see about what else we can do out here. And as always, I'll see you guys on the hard water.